Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be telling you why Overwatch is probably the worst game that I currently have on my Switch. Really wasted my money getting this piece of rubbish. So what is Overwatch? It is an online shooting game. Pretty much a ripoff of Fortress 2 if you remember that old game. I used to play Fortress. Team Fortress 2 all the time and I feel like this game is just a blatant ripoff. They even have some modes which are exactly the same as the ones in Team Fortress when you push around that bomb. You see this game's so rubbish I can't even connect to the internet. <sighs> okay let me try later. Okay it says I'm connected. Hopefully should work. Try again. Entering game, so I think it's connected. <sighs> See how long it takes to get started? Okay, so here is the main menu. Um, you've got loot boxes. I hate games when they have stupid loot boxes. I don't care about the stupid loot. You've got training mode, a gallery. I mean, who's going to look at the stupid gallery? Oh, wow, pictures of the characters. So I can look at the characters. Do people actually care about this? I guess some of the characters do look kind of interesting. There's one character I find very attractive. Where is she? Uh, this one. Yeah, this one's pretty hot. Very nice. Uh, okay, so let's just get into the game and I'll tell you why I don't like it. So you've got a few modes, quick play, arcade competitive and a game browser so we're just going to do a quick play because I can't be bothered so you have three main roles tank dps and healer i know not very original pretty much just the same from world of warcraft by the way this game was made by blizzard who also made world of warcraft so we've got tanks dps healers let's just do dps because tanking and healings for losers and then we can do a practice range, a skirmish, death match, whilst we're waiting. So we could go into this, the practice range, I guess. I suppose it's nice they give you things to do whilst you wait for a game. Very kind of them. Because it takes so long to find a game sometimes. Probably because the game's so bad, not many people's playing. So these are all the different characters you can see at the bottom. Quite a lot of different characters. And as a new player, it's kind of overwhelming because you have no idea who does what or what does who. I mean, look at that. What does she do? She's got a blue triangle coming out of her fingers. I have no idea what that means. And then you've got this pink woman. No idea what she's supposed to do. Um, you've got a blue face woman. No idea. And then you've got a bunch of tanks. Tanks are going to be much larger than the other ones. Not really sure what they do. I know what this guy does. He has a shield and he can charge. But I haven't played the others. There's just too many characters. I feel like there's too many. And some of them just do the same things as each other. So they're kind of pointless. So you have some characters that are basically copies of each other. But different skins. And then you've got about seven healers. I don't know who would want to heal. Healing's kind of boring. You just follow the other characters around and you you aim your healing beam at them. Not really my kind of gameplay. Okay, let's just choose this guy with a pistol. Okay, so it's an FPS and as you can imagine, playing with these thumbsticks is kind of uncomfortable. It's really horrible playing an FPS shooter without mouse and keyboard. I've been playing Rainbow Six all day and that is how you're supposed to play an FPS with a proper mouse, proper keyboard. Oh, I just fell off the edge because the controls are so bad. So we've got B which makes you jump. A 
doesn't oh it makes you crouch and X I just feels so unresponsive when I want to move how am I supposed to aim at people maybe I have to increase the sensitivity but it's very sluggish I feel like it's very sluggish I don't feel nimble and agile like I do when I play Rainbow Six and you've got oh Shoulder button makes him do like a backwards dodge. You've also got grenades up here and a special attack if you use the right shoulder. I mean the left shoulder. You can do like a rapid fire. So all of the characters have different abilities. It's been three minutes and I still haven't found a match. Not really impressed so far. I think by three minutes you really should be in a match by now. <sighs> Might have to pause the video until I get into a match. Okay, I'm pausing it. So I waited about six minutes, still didn't find a match. So I think in order to get a match, I have to try and play as a tank or a healer because, you know, everyone wants to play as DPS. So I'll try entering as a tank. Maybe I can get a match going to show you. Not off to a good start. Can't even find a match. So it doesn't even matter how great this game is. It could be the best game in the world. Can't even find an online match. So what is the point? Do a skirmish. See what that is. Oh, I think we found a game. Finally. So what am I? Oh, I'm actually in a game. It's a Christmas miracle. So this is, wait a minute, this isn't a game, or is it? I don't know, I think that's the enemy team over there, but why are they highlighted? No, those are my teammates, why are they so far away from me? Oh. Oh, it found a game. That was just like a practice thing. I don't know what's going on. So we're in a proper game this time. And I'm a healer. Ugh. I don't want to be a stupid healer. The only way I could get into a game was to enter as a healer. You know in World of Warcraft you get those losers who loved healing? Who loves healing? You want to do damage and beat stuff up. Stand there in the back healing like a loser. So this person, why is this a green screen with cameras? <laughs> Very erotic. So to heal, you have to hold R and then it automatically links a yellow beam to your teammate and heals them. It's not very challenging. You don't even have to aim at them. You just follow them around like you're walking a dog on a leash. And then that will heal them up nicely. Not sure what her special move is. I don't really think you can do anything offensive. There's no melee attack either. So there's a blue beam. I don't know what that does. And there's a yellow as well. Oh, there is a melee attack. You have to click down the thumbstick. But you're not really supposed to be attacking anyone. You're supposed to stay in the back and heal your teammates. It's really boring just standing like this. Make sure no one dies. Whilst everyone else everyone else has fun. I just stand here aiming this beam at them. Well, I'm dying. I can't even heal myself. See you can't even heal yourself as a healer. Ugh. So let's try a different healer. Maybe this black woman is better. Oh, it's a man. <laughs> he has like a weird beam gun. Th I don't know what it is. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
Does this do damage? I don't think it does damage. Oh, this game's so bad. So yeah, that's pretty much all you do. It's five versus five. You run towards each other and then shoot anything that moves. Not really a tactical game. No tactics involved. You just rush at them. Not like Rainbow Six where you actually have to use your brain and play strategically and tactically. Not really my cup of tea. The reason why I bought this game in the first place was because I was thinking about ditching my wife and at the time I was addicted to Rainbow Six and I wanted to replace Rainbow Six with an online shooting game I could play on the go whilst I'm running away from her. I thought this game would be a good substitute for it but it turns out it was just rubbish and I never played more than two games. I played one game I thought this is rubbish. This is a shit game, isn't it? 